Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to make a DVD case that looks very realistic for the movie Disaster Movie. It's really simple to do. Um, all you have to do is use, a, use the proper Photoshop Action Script. Um, you can get those at Photoshop Action Scripts. That's with an S. Dot com. I'm going to show you the site real quick. Okay. Um, as you can see, they have a whole bunch of different covers you can use. You can, uh, you know, they have like uh, ones for books, like a big thick hardcover book. Um, they have like DVDs with the CD standing out of the side, and all of these you can put your graphic over top of it. They even have like a MP3 player that looks very realistic. You can put your graphic on there, and it'll it'll render it into a full graphic for you. But for this example, I'm going to use this one right here as the DVD case that's partially opened. So I'm going to uh, take the flat image of the disaster movie cover and put it onto this DVD case. And it takes just about one minute with uh, Photoshop after you after you purchase these actions from PhotoshopActionScripts.com. So here we are. Um, I'm in Photoshop now. I've got the cover for for the disaster movie movie. So I'm going to highlight it. I'm going to right click and layer via copy. What that's going to do is it's going to make this its own layer right here so I can move it around so that I can move it on to another thing. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my actions palette or my uh, yeah my actions. I'm going to drop down and these are all the Photoshop action scripts that I've already uh, installed and put in here. Uh, and the one I'm looking for is DVD case opened. And uh, it also comes comes with a legend so you can find which one you're looking for really easy. But uh, since I've already used this one a bunch of times, I know which one it is. So then you just click step one and press play. And what this is going to do is going to give you a blank canvas that you can either uh, paste pictures or images over or other layers, or you can draw on top of it, or you can just edit these text layers if you wanted to. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag a layer over top of it. So I'm going to go back to my other image and I'm going to drag it over on top of this. And I'm going to hit Control plus T on my keyboard. And I'm just going to match up these corners right here. Um, this back part right here, this is actually the spine of the cover. And I didn't have that right now. Uh, a lot of times you can find that if, that's what, if, if you want to be really picky. But the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to click the rectangular marquee tool. Oops. And, uh, and I'm going to highlight... Oops, I think it was too low. I'm going to highlight the back cover only. I'm going to go to Layer, uh, New Fill Layer, Solid Color, hit OK. Then I'm just going to grab one of these dark gray colors back here to kind of match the cover. Let's see about right there. And I'm going to hit OK. And now just for the sake of time, I'm not going to worry about putting any text or anything. I'm just trying to show you how these work. Um, so then after you p paste all your images over here, the back spine and the front cover, you just go to Step 2 and press play and then hit continue and depending on how fast your computer is it could take between 30 seconds to a couple minutes so I'll let that go ahead and run okay and it's done as you can see it says done action script by photoshop action scripts.com hit stop and now you can see we have a very realistic DVD case and this is actually only being viewed at 20% right now so if you were to go to 100% as you can see it's huge the, the, um, the cover will be distorted obviously because I, I used a small image that I pasted over it so it, it, it enlarged but as you can see the actual action script itself is very high quality but I'm just gonna um, I'm gonna keep it at 100%. But I'm gonna go up here to image image size, and I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, make it 500 wide. Make sure that the constraint proportions is checked, and hit OK.
and uh, now this is at 100% and it's a very realistic looking DVD case and if you want to do some of these yourself for all kinds of different covers just go to photoshopactionscripts.com and thanks for watching